Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Samojo, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little bit of a sneak peek, a little bit of a spoiler for the upcoming updates for Vampire Survivors, what we can look forward to in the future uh, with the game files that have been found through the user. I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but Unbeck Un... No, bro, I'm just... Look, that's his name on the screen. That's I don't know how to pronounce that. But he's the one that made this post, and I'm reviewing it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we have is bigger bronze, silver, and golden coins. These are bigger versions than the coins that we currently have. They might be a higher value. They might be a rarer version, or they might be used in a later map that we don't know of till today. But we do know that these are assets that are inside of the game that could be used later on in the future. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, next is something similar, but instead of the coins, it's going to be the sacks. Another thing, different colored sacks might be different values, higher values that could be used later on in the game. Could be better, could be worse. You never know. Um, could be used in a later map or something like that. But yeah, this is something else to look forward to in the future. Now, here is something interesting. Different color balls. I have no clue what those are used for. That and the potions. That is something that caught my attention was the potions. You can see there's three different color potions on the left. We have the blue, red, and I think that's like an orange or yellow. Now, in regular, regular games, this would pertain to mana, health, and stamina, or armor, or shield, depending on the game that you play. But currently, we really don't have those values. The only value that we have is health. We don't really have mana, or stamina, or shield. So these could be new mechanics later down in the future of Vampire Survivors that aren't released yet, but are planned to be released. So keep your eyes out for that. But that's really, really cool in my opinion. These are also inside the game files, these new badges with the Spellbinder. Now, there was a little bit of a community may thing for leaderboards now this could be used as a way to signify your rankings inside of leaderboards like first second third place something like that or it could be new items you know you never know since these are similar looking to spellbinder in the first place maybe there's going to be a passive evolution for spellbinder in the future that might look like one of these items on the on the on the right side, or these might be separate items themselves. Um, you ne really never know, but it, it it blows your mind when you think, hey, this could be actually a thing inside of Vampire Survivors that could actually happen. You know what I mean? The next one on the list is actually different looking weapons that you can see. There's four different weapons here that we have, which is you know they could be different things, an alteration of an evolution for Fire Wand, Santa Water, Magic Wand, and King Bible. It begs the question because we already have an evolution for King Bible. So does that mean that there's going to be two different evolutions for certain weapons in the future? You know what I mean? That, 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 that the mechanics are going out the roof right now, man. It, it's going to get crazy. And this might be an evolution for Santa Water. We don't already have an evolution for Santa Water. This could be it. Um, and then Magic Wand and Fire Wand, we both have those, but different alterations, depending on the passes you have, man. It opens up a lot more doors and a lot more questions for the future of the game. We also have different looking passive weapons as well, or items, different looking passive items as well. I'm not sure what any of these look like. This looks like a quest item. This looks like a bag, extra hearts, maybe shield. I, I'm not, I'm not sure, but all of these look really, really cool. And I'm excited to see what these can offer for the future, or what they mean for the future of Vampire Survivors. I think it would be really, really dope. This could be an evolved version of this item right here. They do look very similar. This is maybe this is red for health. Maybe this is green for recovery. You, you know, you never know, man. You never know. And this is the last little bit of images that were found. Um, this one. I, I still don't know. Maybe this could be a key that you can find randomly in a map that will open up a secret location you know, on the other side of the map or something. I really don't know. Maybe this is a quest item, you know, or like a candle or I, I really don't know. I have absolutely no idea, but it's really cool to see these things inside of the files of the game and it could, you know, lead to other things in the future for vampire survivors. You really do not know, but the fact that we have this much information really gets me excited for the future of the game because I know that they're planning amazing things with what we can see already. But yeah, shout out to the guy that posted this on Reddit. Uh, thank you. Um, this is got me a lot more excited for the future of the game honestly i'm I, i'm really excited to see what the future intakes and everything uh, but yeah i appreciate you guys thank you for watching if you have any questions or concerns leave them down in the comments down below i would appreciate it and make sure you guys join a fan-made discord server that is made by myself it's not yet finished but we're getting there um if you guys are interested that link's down in the description and i appreciate you guys watching have a great morning evening and afternoon and i'll see you guys later peace